This video is a review of, of enabling shared activities. And I think the most important thing to know on the front end is if you enable it uh, or it's enabled by default, you can't disable it. Uh, so it's, a, it's an interesting, uh, interesting uh, feature to enable and to think about. So uh, let's look at what, what that means. So if we're looking here at a, at a contact record and what we say is we want to create a, a new task and so what we can do is to, to click in and, and let's just say we want to call next week. And so what I'm going to do is to set that for the seventh. Uh, and in addition to Pat, what I want to do is to also add Sandy as a second contact. Uh, and then if I draw down, uh, if what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to relate this actually to an opportunity. So I'm just going to type O, uh, click opportunity. And then what I'm going to do is to select the services uh, and so it's assigned, it's in process because I've already started it. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is to click save here. And so what that's done is it's created a shared activity, which means that you're seeing here that I have a call on the 7th uh, with Pat, and I'm on Pat's record, uh, and another contact, right, and one other. Um, and so what that means is if I go out and take a look at, at Sandy's record, uh, what I'm seeing is that on the 7th, I've got a call with Pat. Now notice that I'm on Sandy's record doing that, uh, which means that if you're looking at this, you have to be a little bit thoughtful in terms of, of who a given opportunity is related to. Uh, what it also means is that what we're able to do is to go out and when we create uh, the activity, uh, depending upon how we do it, uh, what we can do is to say, see how it's defaulting to Sandy. If what I do is to delete Sandy here, and what I do is to say, let's start it with Pat, and I add Pat in, uh, and then I'm going to add a second, I'm going to add Sandy. So now what I've got is Pat, I mean Sandy's record with Pat first and Sandy. So what that does is to create uh, a, a different set of records. So if you look at Pat's record in the same way, you've got some uh, where you've got it with Sandy and others with Pat, uh, and depends on, so I'm, I'm looking at this from Pat, right? Um, and so you can see how you can kind of manipulate uh, those activities based on what that means. Uh, so taking again a step back, if we look at how you set this up, if we go out to settings and you type activity or act what that does is to bring up activity settings and we're looking at this feature here which is uh, allow related multiple contacts it also lets you know that this is um, th this doesn't work for recurring tasks and events so there's some things here that are evolving we're uh, uh, so we'll have to see how how that actually kind of works by the time you're doing this it may, may be different um, but if we look out at the third contact that we had out there, so we've got this one where we've got a, an activity set up uh, to call, and this is with Sandy and two others. Uh, and so I've got Alex, which means there's somebody else involved here. So it's hard intuitively to know what's going on. Um, and so an easy way to get there, though, is if you, if you open up a record uh, and you see, great, so it's Sandy plus two, uh, you can click edit. I found a cleaner way is to actually just go in straight from edit from here, because what that's going to do is to show you what you've got, but you can kind of play with which way works best for you. But this does show you the three contacts that are here. Uh, again, you can delete off. So Sandy is the primary. Uh, if you delete her, then it rolls to Pat. Uh, and you could add Sandy back in terms of being able to identify the primary contact. And so, um, if what we do is we look, the, the one other place you can go to is if you go out to reports, and what I've done is to look at activities with contacts report, uh, what I'm able to see is, is that for some of these where I've got a third contact, I'm actually seeing three records, uh, or I'm seeing three entries in a report. It's a single record, just related that way. Um, so it is a way to be able to at, at least get reporting, although again, it, it can be duplicates because this is this is one activity uh, shared across three contacts. Um, so the the other the good this is a good page. This is where we started, right? Which was then again, if you enable this, know that you can't disable it. Uh, and there is some good discussion in here as to why you want to think about it. 
uh, but if you enable it, the last activity dates on rollups is affected as an example. Um, but then there are also some features if you don't enable it, uh, and a rep sends, you know, kind of what's there's some good good scenarios here to think about. Uh, but my coaching is to go on ahead and enable it and just to be aware of the limitations of how it works. But it is a good feature and it does give you some flexibility in terms of being able to uh, not have to duplicate records. Uh, when you have a meeting with several different folks participating. Um, hope that helps.